Okay, now we have a go for auto sequence start. Now we have a go for auto sequence start. 20 seconds. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, we have a engine start, 3, 2, 1, booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, carrying the third crew of astronaut residents to the International Space Station. Maneuver is complete and Discovery is now in a heads down, wings level position, carrying the next resident crew to the International Space Station. Thirty-one seconds into the flight and Discovery's three main engines are beginning to throttle back to 74% of rated thrust as Discovery passes through maximum aerodynamic pressure. Discovery's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Discovery is now traveling more than 1,300 miles per hour, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center about seven miles at an altitude of 12 miles. Data here in the flight control room indicates that all three main engines, the auxiliary power units and fuel cells are continuing to perform well. One minute and 34 seconds into the flight with seven minutes of powered flight remaining, standing by for the next major event, which will be the burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. And the booster officer confirms, confirms a good separation of the solid rocket boosters.